We've got just a couple more lessons to complete our study on the book of Acts. Today we'll cover Acts chapter 28, verses 21 and 22. Paul has called together the leaders of the Jews in Rome and given his explanation of his situation of being under house arrest and of the reasons why. In response, the leaders of the Jews in Rome state that they have not received any information concerning this matter from Judea or from any of the brethren. They stated that they did want to hear from Paul on this matter further, as they are aware that the way, or this new Christianity, is being spoken against everywhere. This is an example of the secular view or sinful nature being against the gospel message. The issues that the Apostle Paul faced 2,000 years ago at the beginnings of the church are no different than that of which we see today. The secular community is against the gospel message in spite of the fact that they have never heard what the message is. This is a perfect example of the sinful nature at work in this world. But there is also God's Holy Spirit at work in this world and people's hearts stirring a curiosity to find out more about this mystery of the gospel message. This is a perfect example of spiritual warfare that Paul teaches about in Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 20. Paul also states in Colossians 1.27 in the New King James Version, To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is to experience salvation in Christ Jesus, and only those who open their hearts to Jesus and receive him when he calls can experience the riches of the glory and of the hope of the glory that dwells within us through God's Holy Spirit. It dwells within our hearts. That's why we need to open our hearts to Jesus. If we do, he will fill that void within us that has so far for so many been crying out to be comforted and satisfied. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life for all who will believe in him. Open your heart to Jesus and receive everlasting life today and receive the filling of your soul that comforts and gives peace. Dear Lord, our hearts long for your Holy Spirit to fill us with the comforting and the peace that only comes from opening our hearts sincerely to Jesus. Please touch our hearts with your Holy Spirit today that we would feel your presence in our lives to know that you are real and desire to rekindle a lost relationship with us that you intended from the beginning that we may spend eternity with you in heaven through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.